Hi, and welcome to another episode of High Finance. Dixie Brand Inc. has announced the debut of Theravis, an innovative medical pet supplement containing CBD and other natural ingredients. The product has been formulated to deal with common dog health problems, such as allergic itching, separation anxiety, and joint mobility. The producer of this product is Dr. Stephen M. Katz, a 30-year veterinarian who has one of the largest veterinary pit bull practices in the country. One of the biggest marketing messages from Katz is that Therapist has nothing to do with pets getting high. The CBD formulation is actually non-psychoactive. So good news for pet owners, this product will be available nationwide in November. It's success at its best. Women are making a breakthrough by leaving their desk jobs to become influential investors within the marijuana industry. Lori Ferreira is the co-founder of Yazback Ferreira Partners, a business that co-invests in companies, connects them with their network, and helps distribute products. Since her first investment in a Colorado grow house, Ferreira has invested in many cannabis-related businesses. She is also a leader amongst cannabis activists in Illinois. But that's not all. Her love for green has brought her to a vice president position for new business development at Panther Media. Like many entrepreneurs in the industry, Ferrer's key advice is to invest in the people behind the business. This month, Viridian Capital Advisors LLC, along with the help of Cannabis FN, will release the first of its free monthly online events designed to give investors the opportunity to interact with leading analysts and investment bankers in the cannabis industry. The Viridian Cannabis Stock Index covers 80 of the publicly traded companies and will analyze the risks and opportunities of the legal marijuana industry. Companies that will be discussed in the series include technology firms like Mass Roots, Heliospectra, and Tweed Marijuana. The goal of this collaborative venture is to help investors identify cannabis companies that are attracting capital executing on business plans and poised to succeed. Growblock Sciences, a biopharmaceutical company with state-of-the-art technology and cultivation that are designed to produce medicinal cannabis, announced their acquisition for four Nevada state medical cannabis licenses. The first license is for growing cannabis, while the second and third licenses are for cultivation and production. The fourth license is a dispensary license. In addition to its ownership, the company retained the rights to 20% of the dispensary shelf space for a future cultivation product, as well as the right to completely control and operate the delivery service. This concludes another episode of High Finance. Today's news was brought to you by Cannabis Trader. Check out StoneGirls.com for the latest update on cannabis culture.